head here while I was gone up in Wisconsin decided to just start the Cummins without me. Why would you why would you say that? Because I don't want to these people fed. No, no, that's not what I meant. Why would I say what? You alright there? Exactly. So, fed, Mr. I care about this project, I care about these videos, just went ahead and started without you guys. So you know it's gonna start, but we're gonna start it up again. He just started it like yesterday, so it's not, not a big deal. Oh, I didn't realize you got a downpipe on too. Yeah. Dang, son, making moves. Fed's in, he, uh, he doesn't wait for the videos. He doesn't wait. So he's got a downpipe on. Uh, the videos the fence did run for about 30 seconds because I was running too thin a cable for the fuel cutoff solenoid. So it was the first test start, now it's gonna be the first official start. Um, he's removed most of the wiring harness that you're not gonna use? All of it. So this is all what you're gonna use? This is factory ECU stuff? Yeah, all this somewhere or another powers the PCM, which runs from, the gauges. From the Ram Charger, correct? Yeah, this is the Ram Charger 318 harness. That went from being this thick to being this thick. I don't really want to take this apart because this is all factory and... I would leave it. We'll make it clean. Yeah, the only difference is a little thicker than it normally would be, but... Yeah. Yeah, that was never, never been a problem. Right. All right, so we're gonna button this up and get her, get her fired up. All right, so also I get a lot of questions on what camera I use all the time, and I have been using this G7X. Same thing as Adam has, he has a Mark One like this and a Mark II, they're pretty much the same camera. Um, but we both have had the issue where, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's dirt in the lens. Um, it's literally like trapped behind like this piece of glass, so no matter what I do, there's always like a spot in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you can see it now, but like not no matter what, there's a spot in the middle of the screen. It's very frustrating. It looks terrible. Maybe like if it's with the sun, like it, it's bad. Um, so I took the plunge and decided to upgrade cameras. Uh, it's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And I just, it wasn't that I didn't want to send the money. It's just, I couldn't decide on what camera to get, but I definitely wanted to get something nice for you guys to get a, like a better quality um, and have, I actually have a, a mic now, which is game changer. The audio on this sucks. Um, so I went ahead and I upgraded to a Sony a6500. Um, it's got this like 16 to 70 lens on it. Uh, not a huge fan of the lens. Does have a good zoom range, is wide enough for vlogging, but not, not a super huge fan of it. Um, I've used it for like one video so far and I'm just, I'm not sold on it. Uh, the reason being, um, it just, the image stabilization is, is awful. Like, if I'm not perfectly still, it, it's super shaky and it's very, very frustrating because like, if it's a clear image but it's super shaky, it's gonna be worse than not quite as clear of an image that's not super shaky. But it does record in 4K, it does have 120 frames per second. So I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are below uh, on camera ideas. I might return this one and get something else. Who knows? Also, no flip out screens. I don't know if I'm in focus or anything, but the focus does seem to be pretty good. So back back to the comments thing. I just wanted to give you guys a side note because I always get questions about it. Well, also, my other roommate removed his four-wheeler finally, so now my workbench is up against the wall, and there is so much more room in here now. It is freaking amazing. It makes me so happy. Also, we have found a potential new house. Um, we just, we're kind of trying to get the realty people down a little bit on the price because it's just not worth it. It's only a three bedroom and they want a little bit too much money for it and it's been up for like six months. Um, but it's got land, it's got a cool garage set up. It would be really sick if we can get it. So uh, cross your fingers for us, wish us luck that we can figure that out. Um, we need to move out of here within like, I think about a month. So we gotta figure out something soon. And then maybe we won't be dealing with like no room and constantly stepping on each other's toes and the garage will be even cleaner than this because we won't have any of that stuff. It'll just be his stuff and my stuff, more organized. Be a game changer, Fed. You're trying to figure out where to hang your Cummins batch for the next month. It's not on there. Oh, this one. Close, close. Oh, there you go. Decorating, hashtag decorating. I think I have a pretty good selection. Oh, everybody asked about this. This is a 911 body. For a one six scale RC car that had like hydraulic disc brakes. Oh, nice. And like a 30cc Wee Whacker motor. I didn't know that part. This is kind of like, this is a Dodge Cummins Ram Charger update, but this is also kind of like a life update because I don't do those very often. Figure would roll it into one, just kind of happened that way. Um, anything else that is going on, Fed, that I should tell them about? Um. 
Can you think of anything besides Maybe the house situation? If anyone has any ideas on a couple parts of the Ram Charger that I can't find. What are they? Looking for spice door panels. Spice? Yeah. That's the color. Okay. So it's tan, but it needs to be 91 through 93. Because the earlier ones have like a sand. Whereas this is a little darker. Oh, okay. So I need this cushion and this or the whole door panel, both sides. So if anyone has that, let us know. Or knows what is one. Or knows what is one, send us links, all of that. Uh, what else? There's a couple more things. I forgot. Okay, we'll figure that out when we get there. Other life updates. I don't know. The vet's doing great. Uh, handbrake soon, I guess. Um, the auto's doing great things. We're going to go to a drift event, hopefully within the next week. I really want to drive. Uh, so that's pretty much the life update. Still got the Grom. I do still plan on selling it and getting a pit bike again. I got way more use out of the pit bike than I got on the Grom main thing is i just i just don't want to like die on the grom so uh you know either get a wheelie ticket get in an accident hurt myself it's just not really worth it uh to me pit bike does plenty i can wheelie it if we get a big ha the the house with the big yard i can do it there good plan okay so back to what people actually care about um what's next Fab, before we can start this song be up i need to get some primary wire so that i can primarily wire this what is primary wire? Like just single strand, like 12 gauge, 14 gauge. I think I have some. Because I don't know where my spool is. I think I have a spool. Uh, yeah. What gauge is that? Uh, 14. 14. Mm. Might not be enough. We shall see. It's close enough, but I'll definitely want to redo it with heavy 12. gauge. Because yeah. this is what I use for testing purposes. Some cheap speaker wire I just, and. Melted it. That was about 30 seconds worth of it being on. Yeah, so probably need 10 gauge for sure then. Yeah, that solenoid is serious. When you click it on, it like. You feel on. it, you hear it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking like a goof right now. <laughs> All right, so next step, start the thing all right so we did a super clean wiring job um <laughs> to get this thing started up let her rip tater chip oh. Interesting. like you said this bitch fired right up You priming it? Yeah. It lives! <laughs> Diablo! Cummins Ram Charger is alive! success yeah so what's left the front clip rest of the wiring throttle all cable drive shaft trans mount drive shaft trans mount intercooler intercooler piping it's not a lot just like the tedious stuff yeah hell yeah America America it's crazy that's like this getting this coming started went easier than getting my Miata started every time I put a motor back in it that's sad. All right, so now we're trying to hook up the 
throttle cable. Pulled out the factory one that went to the 318. Now he's trying to fish through the one for the Cummins. Cummins. I feel like you have to say Cummins funny. You can't just say it normal. Yeah, for sure. Behind the brake booster, so you know you can actually see what you're doing. Does it go through the firewall at all? It needs like an extra inch. Oh, really? Yeah. So the throttle cable is a little too short. That is the problem we're running into now. As expected when you're putting a motor that never came in something in it. Alright, I have to go, um, but I'm going to leave the camera with them so they can film some of the putting the front clip back on. Um, also, Fed is working on the throttle cable right now. The one that was on the Cummins is a little too short, like we saw earlier, so you'll, you'll see. Cable itself, this part. Okay, so it's not long enough to go around this. What is that? Solenoid? Yeah, that's the fuel cut off solenoid. Hmm. You can see it. It's like. Yeah. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Taylor. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now we just gotta bolt it up, put the hood on it. Start her up and call it a day. Start her up and call her a day. <laughs> so we kind of thought that we'd be able to mount the radiator like in the stock location, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Let's, just, let me show you guys. Not with that attitude, <laughs> Just because it needs to bolt here and go out. So we might have to put the radiator on the inside of here. All right guys, so that is it for this video of the Ram Charger. So it's funny, me and Fed were talking about it. He's like worried about all these little, like random little things with the truck. He's like, oh man, like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a radiator that's gonna fit, or what else are you worried about? The throttle cable. Throttle cable, like all this little <laughs> insignificant stuff. Whereas like, I would be worried about like the trans mount, like making a mount for that, making sure the shifter lines up and all this stuff and the hydraulics. And like, he's worried about like the most minuscule stuff. It's so <laughs> funny. Uh, but it's just funny, I just realized that we were total opposites on that. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, there's a lot more to do to it. I'll try to film as much as I can. Let me know how you guys are liking the build so far. Thoughts, comments, concerns. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.